Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fall makeup look. I know, some of you are cringing and some of you are bursting with excitement right now uh, when I speak the word fall, but I'm so excited for fall. I'm ready for it to be here. I love crisp, cool weather. I love football season. I love everything that comes with the end of the year. Like I just, I love it, okay? I will link this below for you guys, this sweater. But today we have a few new things. I'm gonna talk to you about a new foundation. I have this e.l.f. Halo Glow. I'm actually gonna try to use this as a bronzer. We'll see how that goes. These lip bonds. I'm gonna just use something else that I've already had, the Major Dimension 2 from Patrick Tall. And we're just gonna do our makeup and enjoy it. So if you guys are interested in this video, definitely keep watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let's dab on into it. <music> Hope you guys are having a good day so far whatever day I upload this <laughs> I uh, mentioned this on Instagram but I haven't had consistent videos as of recently mainly because my editor is stepping back from editing so I now need to find a new editor she was amazing so um, I'm sad to not have her anymore but like excited for her that's why I've not been like super consistent because now your girl's editing them again, which I know sounds like ridiculous, but it really does take a lot off my plate to like give the editing to someone else because it is a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work trying to keep up with like socials, Instagram reels, TikToks, Rosie Days, YouTube, vlogs. It's like a lot. We're here and we're going to do it, right? We're going to get through it until we can find someone. So, and I love makeup still. And it's like, why not just film while I do my makeup? Because I enjoy it. I do plan on doing more vlogs though, because I really enjoy them, but I still love makeup. You know what I mean? Like I just will always love makeup and trying new makeup. Anywho, I just use the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. This is one I've used for years. And now I'm going to go ahead into the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2. Did I do a video on this? I feel like I did, but I like this one way better than the first one. The first one just wasn't as, I don't know, I don't know if I want to say pigmented, but it just wasn't as pretty to me as this one is. I'm taking this shade right here and very lightly setting my lid. It just didn't wow me like this one does. This one is definitely my favorite one by far, and I didn't think I would necessarily gravitate towards these shades a lot, but I really do like them. Then I'm going to take the second shade. I'm gonna just start buffing this into my crease. So I'm gonna do what I normally do and just share with you guys um, what colors I'm using and speed through this tutorial just so you can kind of see. If there's a part that needs to go in depth, I'll definitely come back on here, but for the most part, we're just gonna, we're gonna do our makeup. There's one thing about this palette that I love. It's just so effortless to get a look go like going. You know what I mean? It really truly takes no time to pop on some eyeshadows and go throughout your day. Like look at this. This is just so easy. What I'm doing right now is I'm kind of just putting on the mattes and then I'm going to go into these shimmers, but I really wanted to get my mattes kind of down and in place. And this just, I'm telling you, this palette is just so nice. I really want to dive into this shimmer here and then maybe take it a little bit lighter in the inner corner, but I want this one to be like more towards the end going into the inner corner. So I'm going to take my um, MAC 242. I've had, I think this is the brush that I've had for years, either this one or where's that other one? I've had this brush for years. I will not be without it. I'm doing this without foundation and stuff on because I want to be sure if I have fallout, it doesn't like ruin my foundation. You know what I mean? That's it. Oh, isn't that just so pretty? Oh. I'll go a little bit further in my inner corner, actually. Let's go a little bit further. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is when having multiple blending brushes comes in handy because you can just grab a clean one and go. Because sometimes if you use one that you had product on, it just makes the situation worse. You know what I mean? Look at that. That was a clean line. We have another um, military ball coming up soon and I'm curious if I should like do another military ball video. You guys remember that? That was like one of my favorite makeup looks. One of my favorites. Sometimes I go back and watch it <coughs> and do that makeup look because I loved it. I might do one again this year. I don't know. I kind of want to do that look again, but we'll see like what dress I'm wearing and all that jazz because I have no idea what I'm going to wear. So now I'm going to go in with my Gucci. This is the mattifying primer that they have. I'm loving this one and the new hourglass one. I'll put a picture of it here. I cannot remember the name of it to save the life of me, but it's their newer one that came out. I like to take two pumps of this Gucci one, warm it up, and then I'll start applying it in my t-zone and then I'll work it out this really has been just so nice for a new foundation I've been loving so if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, whatever I have posted this foundation and it is so good this is a new makeup revolution IRL foundation it's a breathable soft matte foundation but it has great coverage like oh it's beautiful. I love the Conceal and Define foundation, but this, for some reason, it doesn't feel as drying, I guess. Um, I feel like sometimes the Conceal and Define can feel, remember that Mark, I don't know if Mark Jacobs still has it, but there was that Mark Jacobs foundation that came in like a little bottle and then you, it had a white top and it was really thin. That's what it reminds me of. This one also just makes you look poreless. I don't know how to describe it. It is such a good foundation, you guys. I have been loving it. But um, the shade range is a little weird. They're, the shades are a little bit different than the Conceal and Define foundation, too. So if you are able to go in and try samples, definitely do that. But I've just been mixing the shades F8 and F12. I normally mix shades anyway, so it's not a huge deal for me. And I was looking in my makeup stash and I saw this brush from Real Techniques and it looks it's limited edition so it's probably not even out anymore but it looks very similar to the Morphe M6 so I wanted to try it this is a Real Techniques by Sam and Nick brush crush life force foundation brush and it just looks really nice I want to see so here's the Real Techniques here's the Morphe M6 I'm gonna show you guys what this foundation looks like on the skin It truly, I mean, look at that. <laughs> I said this on Instagram, but it's like a magic eraser for your freaking face. It is so nice, and it really is very comfortable to wear throughout the day. Uh, it's been hot here in Washington, too, and it's lasted really well on me, and I haven't had any issues. That's what it looks like. I mean, it is so nice. And it doesn't take hardly any effort to really just blend this in. I'm trying to get like a good line for you. We love a good before and after. That's just insane to me. Like before, after, before, after. Let's dry down to a matte finish. Um, if you don't like matte, you probably won't like that. But you know me. <laughs> I love it. Like watch all of this just disappear. insane <laughs> I love foundation so much it just transforms my skin and I know if you have like really good skin and you're, you're looking for light coverage and stuff like that foundation is probably not one of your favorite things but for me it's just <sighs> when you don't have perfect skin and you want your skin to look good and like I don't know I love a good before and after I'm a sucker for a before and after that's why I love foundation because I can get that satisfaction of like, damn, you are a good foundation. You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to put my bangs back just a tad more because we're about to go in with the uh, e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I wanted to try this because a lot of people are saying it's similar to Charlotte Tilbury, but it has more coverage. And I thought maybe as a liquid bronzer, it'd be really good. So we're going to try that today. This is the shade, shade eight. And I also got this shade because no other shades were in stock. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? We'll just try it as a bronzer. We'll just we'll just do that today so did I buy oh no I didn't I meant to buy the new Charlotte Tilbury concealer but I forgot let me know if you've tried it I saw she came out with a new one and it does look good but I bought like I have a Sephora order coming tomorrow that there's so many concealers in there girl it's like what are you gonna do what I'm gonna need a whole new face for this all right so I'm going to take this and I'm oh yes 
we'll start there. I'm going to actually take this Huda Beauty brush I've been using and really liking it. Let's start with the forehead because this one has a, quite a bit of product on it. This is, this is, was this a good idea? Was this a good idea? Was this a good idea? Hopefully it blends really well. It's about to contour the shit out of the forehead. But, hey, we're about to look sculpted. <laughs> But it is blending really well. I could totally see this in like a um a like a shade or two lighter for like a really nice bronzer. <laughs> That's my stress panic right there. Let's see what happens with concealer. I'm gonna do less dots. Oh my. Let's just take our foundation brush and kind of, you know. <laughs> Definitely deep though, that's, so that's good. That's good that it's a nice deep shade. I think when we put concealer on, we'll, we'll be able to make this work. Uh, I'm gonna do less dots on this side. I'm gonna do maybe just one and use the product from the one and put it on the other part of my face. I would love this in the other shade. The one product I have been using a lot recently that looks really, really good is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish in the shade I use for like contour bronzing is Peanut Butter Cup and it just looks so nice. Like something about it is just beautiful. Um, but I am liking this so far. I definitely would love a different shade. I don't know if I'd want my skin tone shade. I still think I would like the bronzer aspect of it, but yeah, this side looks way better because I didn't do as much product, so my fault my fault. I got the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. This is the shade Biscotti. I don't know if this is going to be my right shade, but we'll see. Ooh, I didn't, I thought this was going to be, oh, it is a clicky pen. This is interesting. I don't like clicky pens though, if I'm being honest. They drive me crazy. Here's what it looks like. I'm not, I don't know. I'm iffy on products like this. Sometimes they make me look 10 times worse. So we're about to find out. All right, I'm just gonna use my foundation brush, which is what I normally do. I'm gonna blend this out. Okay. That actually looks really nice. The thing about these kind of concealers is they feel heavy and that usually is what makes me break out or get incredibly oily throughout the day. Like I will get so oily with these kind of concealers if I'm not careful. Some of my favorite concealers is the Dior, I think it's like Forever Skin Correct, that's really good. Um, I also really like Too Faced Born This Way concealer, Rare Beauties concealer, so just for reference of kind of like products that I enjoy. Yeah, I think the concealer is gonna be a little too heavy. Like for my liking, that texture is just too much, but we'll see after I set it and like how I feel. But like right off the bat, I don't think I'm gonna love that concealer. Even though I love Jouer, I think they have great products. That's just probably not gonna be it. But I am gonna use another product from them. <laughs> this is the Blush and Bloom Cheek and Lip Duo. So we'll see what colors we have here. We have this shade, which looks really pretty. And then we have this shade. I think I'm gonna go on with this one. That one looks like it's gonna be really pretty. So I'm just gonna take a blush brush and I'm gonna actually dab it into here. And we're gonna just put it on. This I can get into for sure. It's a really pretty color. I'm gonna take, this is really pretty too though. So here's one side, it's a stunning color. And then this side, yeah, those are nice. This one's the duo, I guess, Blush and Bloom? I guess, oh no, this is Amuse Me, I'm sorry, Amuse Me. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and set, and I have not set my makeup with this powder in forever. This is the Chantecai Loose Powder in Light. It has like the worst packaging ever, but last I remember it had good coverage, so I hate this packaging. I literally hate it. don't feel like I need any bronzer but I am just gonna add a little bit of blush just to make sure blush pops on me so I'm using the Sigma blush palette and I think I'm gonna just go in with this one this is the shade pinkin that on my cheek holy <laughs> that was a lot that was a lot oh oh today is just not the day for me is it now I'm gonna go in with a highlighter I'm just gonna use this Christian Dior forever nude glow I'm just gonna use this on my face that's freaking pretty. I haven't used this in forever and I saw it in my drawer and I was like, let me use that. 
Yeah, this one's good. All right, now I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows and then I'm gonna do my liner and my lashes and we'll be back and try out a new lip product. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. That you showed up was written in my palm. You are a statement that explodes like a bomb. I get to push myself to victory. You make me winner. You cut me loose and set me free. You make me win in every way. You showed me how to spread my wings. Yes, I'm the winner. Okay, now what I'm gonna try is this lip bond from Urban Decay. And I've been so interested in trying this product. It just seems so cool to me. I've seen a few sponsorships with them. And this just looks really cool. So this is in the shade Pleased. I don't know, I have Pleased and Cuffed Up. <clears throat> Basically, these are supposed to be the unbreakable liquid lip color instant shine all day intensity like the shine is supposed to last all day which i think is crazy so we're going to try it out but i'm going to quickly line my lips this is huda beauty's muted pink and it says it's transfer smudge and water resistant for the free rebellious and fun and that's so cool the one color i wanted that was like more of a nude like their perfect nude is always sold out and it said like popular color or whatever on the display on ulta and i was like i can tell <laughs> i can tell but i'm pretty sure you're just supposed to shake it yeah shake 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 for five seconds before applying and this is what the packaging looks like it's really fun Ooh. I'm going to take Cuffed Up that I have right here. I like this color, just not with this look. And I want to see if I can use Cuffed Up and um, kind of mix it with it. This is more of a pink. Okay, that was super light. <laughs> it's too light for me, so I'm going to go back in with a little bit of this one. I will say it's not as glossy as I expected. I thought it'd be even glossier. Like, look at, look at, look at that. I feel like it's not as glossy. It's more of like a matte gloss, if that makes sense. Yep, Textum is always sold out. It's a dusty rose, and that's the one that looks like a winner. Textum, that one looks amazing, but mine doesn't look that glossy. I will say I got this one from NYX uh, a couple weeks ago, and I have been loving it and using it every single time I put on makeup. Like, it's so good. The shade is Born to Hustle, right? Yes. And these are the Shine Loud liquid lips. So basically, you just put the liquid lip on first, let it sit for 90 seconds, and then you put the gloss on top, and it lasts all day long all day long and this is my favorite shade because it's like that perfect nude let me show you i love the applicator of it it's very pigmented and i i love this color it's like my kind of color so so far i've been really enjoying these nyx ones i might get a couple other colors i'll see if this is like transfer proof i don't know how long i should wait to do like a kiss test because it's supposed to be transfer proof you know i just feel like mine's not as shiny as everybody else's no let's just see if it leaves um Kiss marks. <gasps> Shut up. I was not expecting that. That one left a little bit, but not much. <gasps> no freaking way. I'm not even kidding. I honestly did not expect that. There was just a little tiny bit right there. Do you see that? I think that's just from like the inside, maybe not dry down as much. Even though it's not like as glossy as I prefer, you could still put a gloss on top of it and still have that like locked in lip color. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. Here, I'll just use the NYX one. So like I could even go in with this little NYX gloss because this is actually a really nice gloss. It's very, it's not sticky, but it's very glossy and very hydrating. You could do that and amp it up. Wow. See, that's what I expected 
these to look like right off the bat you know what i mean i do think cuffed up is going to be too light for me this is one that i can only really use like in the center of my lips but i do like this one it's a warm nude and it looks really nice all in all i do like this makeup look i think just this kind of threw me off today and then my powder i feel like is just not really sitting on my skin as well and i don't love the concealer so when there's some base products especially multiple ones that i don't love together that's when i'm like oh i don't love this makeup look but uh i do like the eyeshadow i do love the lashes of course i think i'm definitely gonna love this once i get my shade i'm gonna go down a few shades this one's just too dark i kind of thought it'd be more sheer it's definitely got some coverage in there so just keep that in mind this one is a really great foundation at an affordable price definitely check that out another product that i like dove back into and loved is definitely this christian dior Dior Forever Nude Glow. This is so pretty. And then uh, I like this little duo stick from Jouer as well. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for tagging along while I do my makeup. Stay tuned for a giant Sephora haul. There's 30 items in this haul. It's not a joke. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.